Can you share a little bit about Sammy the Bull? Man, Sammy. <laughs> so we end up doing long. I end up doing almost what? Maybe um, almost 10 years with him. And um, he did, you know, he was instrumental in helping us, you know, learn to play chess. And um, he wasn't happy about getting his ass kicked on the game. Sammy's a character, man, and he's a very jealous, you know, just piece of garbage, man, at the end of the day. And I could tell you there's good things about him. He's a smart businessman, you know, and um, I get nothing out of even speaking about him. But, you know, um, he likes to tell the story, you know, his point of view. And I don't think he's always truthful about his intentions. And, you know, he has a big following. He's a great storyteller, you know. But, um he's a piece of garbage at the end of the day you know um he's jealous you know he feels that everybody owes him something and and he thinks he's smarter than everyone and all you know for anyone who says something like really great about him you know you have to question them you know if you really know him then you you'll see who he is you know um but at the same time like i said he, i think he's an intelligent person you know he, he's a great businessman and um i took him into my cell he lived with me for man eight nine months i treated him like a respectful man you know i looked out for him i made sure he ate i made sure he was good and um and he just his jealousy just takes over you know and um i end up having problems with him and that story he tells about it being some puerto rican dude that was actually him the guy you know he was in he was in in a wit sec unit in prison trying to start up his own mob family and um <laughs> He was telling people certain things and that person was trying to make, you know, get a deal off his threats and stuff. And they went to the feds and, you know, he got himself in another mess. Like, you know, it's, it's common for him to be in those messes, you know, and um, there's no reason for me to make that up. I get nothing out of that, you know, and, um, you know, there was a big move and, you know, we had issues. And I, I, I agree with him on one thing that the government did believe his story because he brought up some Cosa Nostra shit saying that they don't, you know, bother families. It's all bullshit, you know. He's a racist person, you know. He tries to to sugarcoat it. And he's full of shit, you know. And um, he did tell me the story once that he was upset that his family was jealous of my of my wife, you know. And in his eyes, he felt like, why should my family be jealous of your family, you know? And that kind of shows you that kind of character he has. Now he says it with to, a smiling face. All my little savage yeah, nieces, you know. And then, you know, we'd get into it sometimes I'd, I'd be upset, you know, and he would, you know, try to, you know, um, push my buttons a little bit and tell me things about, you know, the cartel stuff and how they shit. And I used to be like, whatever, Sammy, you know? And, I mean, he, it's just weird. Like, he's, he wasn't as mature as you think he would be for being like a almost 70-year-old man. Or, you know, it's like, it's weird. Um, but... Sammy's full of shit for the most part. <laughs> and I don't have no problem telling him that because, you know, I took care of him. I made sure he ate. I made sure he was good. And, you know, out of the kindness of my heart, just because, you know, I see him as an older man, I would think about my dad being in prison. And, you know, and um, and there were definitely times where plenty of people were going to beat the shit out of him, you know? And, you know, I, just because he was an older man, they would leave him alone, you know? Jay, you got anything on Sammy the Bull? Oh, <laughs> man. Sammy, <laughs> I feel bad, you know, hear my brother talk like that. So hear my brother just, you know, I, I understand his sentiment, you know, to speak to him, you know, speak about him like that. Um, uh, I just, uh, I get it too, you know, uh, Sammy being Sammy, every, anyone who knows him, he's just who he is. And, you know, I, I respect him as, you know, an older person, you know, he, I think we're all flawed in some type of way. And he has his, you know, Kirks and, you know, and his wrongs for sure um yeah he taught us how to play chess you know i had a relationship with him with his daughter karen and stuff like that and uh you know i just you know he's a lot older now and i, I think that you know as you get older people start you know kind of losing it a little bit and um you know i guess it's just gonna be another story right that's gonna be told about my our life that you know um that just so yeah, and this time right two there. separate ones because the the relationship that you have with him and the relationship that Pete have with him is, you know, complete two different yeah. things. You know? Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure, sure he's, like I said, he has everyone has the right to their opinion. I'm not trying to change their mind. I'm not saying like you know, um, he probably there's probably things that that I did that he didn't like, like 
he did, he didn't like you know certain people like you know gravitating towards us or having you know like that they respected us a little bit more than they did they did him you know but it was because of his flaws his character you know but yeah but i think for the most part it's you know italian guys you know they don't like being outshined or anything and you know it's just a new day, day and age right uh especially when, when we showed up in prison you know it's like uh it was different you know before it was italian guys italian guys italian guys and you know now here we are and you know it was hard for for them to adjust for sure